Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to talk about bank tellers and give you a little bit of an informational overview, the job duties, the education requirements, the likes and the dislikes, and some detailed salary information so you can know exactly how much money bank tellers make on average. Now I've been doing a whole series on other healthcare salaries and we had a special video request for this one so I'm doing it on bank tellers. So first of all, what does a bank teller do? Well, these individuals process financial transactions at banks. And if you've ever made a deposit or a withdrawal, chances are you did it with a bank teller. Now, some of the duties that these individuals will do on a daily basis include cashing checks and depositing money, counting the cash drawer at the beginning or end of a shift, assisting customers with account inquiries like balance inquiries or trying to find out where transactions came from and that sort of thing. They will prepare specialized financial products like savings bonds, sometimes certificates of deposit, or maybe even a cashier's check and things like that. They will make foreign currency exchanges and they will order checks and bank cards for customers. So those are some of the most common duties of a bank teller. Okay, so what are some of the education requirements if you wanna become a bank teller? Well, the good news is not very much. You can usually do it with a high school diploma or GED equivalent. I have seen some certificate programs available, but in most cases, you just have to have a high school diploma and the bank will actually provide on the job training and you will go in and you will train under a head teller or work with more experienced tellers until they feel that you are ready to work on your own. Okay, now let's talk about some of the likes and the dislikes of this profession. One like is that people like the hours. Usually you're going to work like an 8 to 4 or a 9 to 5 and you will have weekends or holidays off and a lot of people like the hours of the banking system. Another thing is you get great experience. Let's say you want to move your way up to work as a head teller or maybe you want to work as a loan officer or even a bank manager. Well, a great way to get your foot in the door is to begin working as a bank teller. Another thing is that a lot of people like working with people in this profession. So if you're, if you're a people person, then you will probably like dealing with customers all day and things like that. What are some of the dislikes? Well, one thing is that you can deal with occasional rude customers. People can be very sensitive about money and if something's going wrong with their checking account or something like that, can be stressful. Another thing is some people feel like they're underpaid. Another thing is that it can be stressful if your cash register comes up short or something like that. And then finally, there's always that risk that you may have to deal with a bank robber. And there was an infamous bank robber by the name of Willie Sutton who would rob banks. He had a whole career of robbing banks and they did finally catch him. And, and one day someone asked him, why do you rob banks? He said, well, that's where the money is, which I think is kind of funny. Okay, now let's talk about some job information. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, which is where I'm getting all this information I'm about to talk to you about, as of 2014, there were 520,500 jobs of bank tellers in the United States. 91% worked in the depository credit intermediation industry, and those are usually commercial banks. Now, the Bureau of Labor Statistics did project an actual decline of 8% in jobs between year 2014 to 2024. So over the next decade, they do think that jobs are going to dwindle a little bit, and that's mostly due to the, the emerging trend of online banking and things like that. Now let's talk about salary statistics. How much money does a bank teller earn on average? Well, in the United States, the average hourly wage was $12.81, the average salary $26,650 per year. And those are just averages across the whole United States. Some people make more, some people less. We'll talk a little bit about those statistics right now. First of all, what were the industries with the highest employment levels? Well, depository credit intermediation came in at number one, $26,270 was the average there. Activities related to credit intermediation was the second industry with the highest employment level, $25,450 was the average salary there. And then non-depository credit intermediation, number three, $25,590. What about the top paying industries? State governments came in at number one, $42,470. Offices of physicians came in at number two, $34,600. And then monetary authorities at central banks came in at number three, $34,350. What about the top paying states? Well, Alaska came in at number one, $30,720 was the average there. District of Columbia came in at number two, $30,410 was the average there. And then Connecticut, number 
$30,340 was the average. What about the lowest paying states? West Virginia came in at number one, $22,080 was the average. Missouri, number two, $23,220. And then Oklahoma, number three, $23,850. And if you wanna look up the salary statistics for all 50 states, I'll put a link down in the description of this YouTube video and you can go to an article on our website and I have all statistics for all 50 states. So that's a little bit about bank tellers. Thank you so much for watching and please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel.